Hello, I'm Christina from Scraps of Love, and today I'm going to share with you how to use um, glitter and modeling paste on cardstocks with a stencil. It's super easy, super fun. Um, once you start making them, you're going to find all kinds of fun ways to use them. I love to use them either in my mixed media art on canvas or um, in a journal, even on cards. It just adds a little bit of texture without a lot of extra weight. All right, so um, we're going to start today. I'm just using the Star Stencil um, from Tim Holtz. And I'm going to start with, I think I'm gonna start with the glitter. So I'm using the Cosmic Shimmer and it's Ultra Sparkle Paste. So what that means is it's got big chunks of fun glitter in it. So do you see how that, it just picks up that sparkle in there? So I'm gonna do it on a couple different colors so you can see how it just changes. You just, I like to take, this one is, okay, let's just do this. This one is very, um, I don't know, almost fluidy, okay? So it's nice and, and uh, so you can get a nice thin consistency. So I like to take just a little bit on the back of my spatula and then it's like frosting a cake and you just drag it across your stencil and so see how fun that is? And look at all that fun, big, chunky glitter in there. You can clean up some of the, off the X of the excess and put it back in the middle of the stars so if it doesn't give you a good enough coverage. And pat, I'm just patting a little bit of extra in there. And grab just a tip, tad bit more. And okay, here comes the magic. Lift the stencil straight up and look at that pretty sparkle. All right, can you see how the light hits that? So this one is on the teal, but look what it looks like on the black. So this one I did a, a little while ago and it's almost dry to start. You can kind of tell it's not dry yet. And then look at it on the red. Same paste. But look at all the different color variations you get by just picking up the different um, backgrounds. So I will tell you that you will want to make sure and clean your stuff up right away, your stencils and your and your palette knives, because it does like to stick. And I just like to use a baby wipe and wipe down my stencil. Wipe up my mat, both sides. All right, so there nice and clean and ready to go on to the next one so the other fun one that we other paste that we carry in the store is made by Nuvo and we're going to use the blue one today and you see how it has lots of sparkles in there so now we're going to use the Nuvo if you notice this one is not quite a it's more pasty it's not as fluid as um, the cosmic shimmer and it has a finer glitter in it. So, and we're gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna take and decorate like I'm spreading cake, frosting on a cake. And I'm going to, as the thinner the layer, the better, because of the fact, I mean, if you want a real chunky layer, you can do a real chunky layer. I like to do a thin layer just because um, I don't wanna take it um, hours and hours for it to dry. Me, I like to do it and go on and do some and have more fun with my project. So I'm just smearing it on here. Some excess and I'm gonna put it back in the jar. So, and now watch this. We're gonna lift this up and whoo, look at how pretty that is. All right, so I did um, the blue also on the red and look at how it just, it looks completely different. Love the, how the glitter picks up in there. And then I also did it on the black. And you get a whole different look with that. All right, so how fun, easy. And once again, clean up as you go. Otherwise, um, the stencil paste will stick inside the little grooves of your stars, and then your stars won't have that nice point point anymore. And 
clean up. So simple clean up. Um, if you're doing a bunch of things and you're using a bunch of stencils, um, like a big bowl of water so you can just drop it in the water and then clean them it later. But that way that keeps it wet so it doesn't, um, doesn't ruin your stencil. Okay, so we're gonna close this one back up. I like to put the little white thing back on just to help make sure it stays nicely um, sealed, doesn't dry up too fast. And then this one is modeling paste. Same kind of idea. This one's made by Deco Art. This one comes in white, crackle, and black. And we're gonna just use the black today. But they, it's the same kind of a, it's more of a frosting consistency. So it's really fun. So I'm gonna just take a little bit on the back of my palette knife, like I did with the others, and frost it. Frost my stencil. And push off any excess. Voila. Clean off my excess, lift up my stencil, and texture. And the black is it kind is a matte finish, so it kind of it so it dries, not shiny. I've done it here on the black on the charcoal with the black. And this one is another one. It just this one's dried a little longer than the other one, so um, but if you want to see it on a color, you can do it on color too. Just grab a little bit more, take it down, maybe use the bigger stars here. If you don't want to, you know, if you're trying to be neat, you can always take your um, <laughs> and tape down the edges so that it doesn't um, go off your ed off the edge of the stencil for you. So you can. All right. So that is one way that you can use stencil paste, modeling creams, or uh, glitter paste to decorate your pages. Thank you for watching.